Elder D. Todd Christofferson was born in American Fork, Utah in January 1945. His father was a veterinarian and Todd's family loved animals. That included the 60 sheep they owned at one time. One spring, just when the sheep were ready to have baby lambs, there was a big blizzard. Todd's father was on a business trip, his grandfather was at work, and Todd was at school. Soon the sheep started having their baby lambs. The baby lambs would die if they got too cold. His mother drove to Todd's school and brought him home to handle the emergency. Todd's grandfather rushed home and taught Todd how to keep each lamb warm. He told Todd to rub each lamb with a burlap sack. This would keep their blood flowing and keep them warm. Then his grandfather had to go back to work. Todd was all alone with the sheep. Could he take care of all of them by himself? What if all the baby lambs died, he thought. But he knew he had to do everything he could, so he quickly went to work. As each lamb was born, he rubbed it with the sack, and soon all the lambs were warm and not one had died. This experience taught him how important it was to do your best and to work hard in every task you do. Sometimes, it's up to you to do a good job all by yourself. Another time, Todd had a job picking fruit at his neighbor's orchard. He would ride his bike over to the orchard early in the morning and pick fruit all day. One day, at lunchtime, he noticed he hadn't picked as many bushels as he usually did. He thought everyone would be disappointed in him or angry because he was behind. He hurried home to ask his parents to help in some way. But when he got home, no one was there. Suddenly, he had the thought to ask Heavenly Father for help. So he knelt in prayer. Right away, he felt peace inside, and he knew everything would be all right. He dried his tears, made his lunch, and quickly went right back to work. Because of that peaceful feeling, he knew Heavenly Father heard his prayer and would help him. From that time on, whenever he had trials, he knew that he could turn to Heavenly Father. When Todd was 12, he asked for a Bible for Christmas. When he received it, he was excited to read it and started at the beginning with Genesis. It took a long time to read from beginning to end, but when he finished, he realized how much he loved both the Old and New Testament. Even today, as a grown-up, he still has that Bible, and it has become a treasured possession. When Todd was 13, his mother had to have serious surgery. As the oldest, Todd brought all of his brothers together, and they prayed for their mother. His mother got better, but for a while, she couldn't do many of the routine things she could do before. One of those jobs was making bread. So Todd asked his grandmother to teach him how to make bread. He did such a good job making bread that he kept making it for his family until he left for college several years later. One summer, Todd stayed with his grandparents and helped them on their farm. He was slow getting up one morning and was just saying his morning prayers when his grandfather came to get him. When his grandfather opened the door to his bedroom, he saw Todd kneeling by his bed praying. Quietly, his grandfather stepped out and waited until Todd was done with his prayer. When Todd was finished, his grandfather came in and gave him a big hug and told him how pleased he was to see Todd praying, especially at the beginning of the day. And he wasn't mad at Todd for being late. After that, Todd felt even more committed to praying because of how his grandfather felt about it. Todd and his brother Greg were in the Hill Kamora pageant for two summers. One night after a performance, he decided to visit the Sacred Grove alone. He thought that this would be the most perfect place he could be to gain a testimony. He prayed for over an hour, but nothing seemed to happen. Finally, he gave up and walked back, wondering what he did wrong. Just a few weeks later at home, while reading the Book of Mormon, Todd received the sure witness of the spirit that he had been seeking in the sacred grove. Then he realized that you don't have to be in a special place to pray to Heavenly Father. You can receive answers to prayer anywhere, and prayers are answered in Heavenly Father's time. Elder Christofferson served his mission in Argentina and learned to love the people and the culture of Latin America. He then graduated from Brigham Young University and earned a law degree from Duke University. While he was at BYU, he met and married Kathy Jacob in 1968 in the Salt Lake Temple. Elder and Sister Christofferson now have five children and many grandchildren. His family continues to be blessed because of the many gospel principles he learned as a child. Elder Christofferson worked as an assistant to a judge, then for an important law firm, and later at several banks, and was very distinguished in his work. In 1993, he was called to be a member of the First Quorum of the Seventy. In 2008, he was called to be an apostle in the Quorum of the Twelfth.
Elder Christofferson's life is a wonderful example that no matter who we are, where we are, or where we serve, we can always turn to our Heavenly Father in prayer. There is a great power in prayer. Sometimes it's all we have, but it will always bring the help we need.